welcome back to Pretty Scary and today I'm doing another one of my Halloween looks and I'm doing the Crooked Man. Now, the Crooked Man originated from a very innocent nursery rhyme, something like there was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile, he found a crooked penny and stepped over a crooked style or something along those lines. But it has been changed to be rather creepier and it was the creepy version that was used in The Conjuring. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm basing this on. Right, grab an oversized hat, work out where your eye holes are and just mark those, ready to cut them out later. I then put a little bit of pink on the hat just to make it tie in more with the costume in the film, but you don't have to do this. And then grab a pencil, I'm using a lip pencil and just draw in that crooked mouth with the teeth. Now, while I'm doing this, I just want to explain to you why there's been hardly any Halloween content on my special effects channel. Halloween is my time of the year after all, and I usually have a lot of stuff up by now. And obviously, all of you who follow my channel will know that I was pregnant, and my little bean decided to make an early appearance. So despite the fact that I pre-filmed a lot of my Halloween content, I didn't get a chance to edit it and get it up in time because it's been one long round of sleepless nights and feeding but I couldn't be happier we're very in love with our little bean I will insert a picture here to show you meet Daisy she's the most beautiful little thing in the world and we are so so in love anyway I'm gonna try my best to get some of my tutorials up in time so yeah anyway back to the tutorial so I just painted the teeth in with white and then a little yellow just to make them look more gnarly and then just stippled some white on my face just to make myself look paler and then I'm just going in with some pink alcohol paints and painting in the gums now you don't need any specialist paints for this look if you haven't got face paints or alcohol paints you can just use liquid lipstick or you could use some white eyeshadow or white liner anything you've got really and you can just use some black liquid liner to do this bit here I'm just using some black face paint just to fill in the gaps between the teeth and define the teeth a little bit more then take a dark eyeshadow and a small brush I'm just using a little lip brush and just shade along the tops and the sides of each and every tooth to make them look more 3D I'm just using a deep grey shadow and I shade in exactly the same way at the sides of the mouth and also at the corners to make the mouth look like it's receding slightly rather than just being flat painted on the face and also the same underneath the mouth now just taking that same eyeshadow and painting the kind of the puckered wrinkles that you see around the crooked man's huge wide mouth so just painting those in with that same thin brush and then blending them out with a fluffy brush couldn't be easier really and you get this nice 3d effect of wrinkles the same on the bottom of the mouth and then just some shading also around the chin to shape that and make it look more like the reference picture make sure you have a nice reference picture of the crooked man in front of you before you start and then I just took a stiffer brush this is just a brow brush and using a slightly deeper tone of grey just going over and deepening up, deepening up some of those shadows blending them out again with that fluffy brush and then I realized that I hadn't shaded the bottom teeth in so make sure you you do the bottom teeth and don't leave them like I did silly me and basically just keep shading until you are happy then I took a very very thin artist brush and a deep blue which is deep night by Laura Mercier my favorite deep shadow color and I just deepened the edges of some of those really really dark shadows you don't want to go over the whole area of shadow just on the edge so that you get a nice gradient of shadow and also don't forget to shade between the teeth so you get that nice dip between the gums so they don't look flat Again, blending out with that big fluffy brush. And then I just took that same brush and some black 
face paint again you can use a liquid liner if you prefer and I just outlined each of the teeth just to add a little bit more definition and to make it look a little bit cartoony almost you can skip this step if you prefer and just leave it looking more realistic Finally, I just decided to paint a few gaps in between the teeth and make them look a bit too, a bit more crooked. They were looking a little bit too uniform for my liking. And that is more or less it. So I just put my hair back, put the hat on, cut the eye holes so that I could see something. It does help. And then just glued down the edges of the hat to make sure it stays against the face so you can just see that big wide creepy mouth and that you can see out of those eye holes. I'm just using a special effects glue. Just put a little bit on and make sure you dry it so that it's tacky and then just stick the hat to the face. this is the finished look if you are wearing this out for Halloween you'll want to cut bigger eye holes than I did and if you paint your eyes black then you won't see your eyes I just cut small eye holes for the sake of the photograph so it looks better but I can't see an awful lot in my peripheral vision so big eye holes and also you'll need more of a pinstripe suit rather than the dark coat that I'm wearing but being pregnant I can't really order anything like that in my size so I've had to improvise but yeah a nice pink pinstripe suit and cravat and white shirt will be great for your costume if you like this video please give it a massive thumbs up because it helps me out loads comment down below let me know what you thought let me know if you've seen the film which has this scene in it and also subscribe because there's lots more coming your way thank you for watching love you all